Apokuti popularized the phrase suffering and smiling, but it has continued to define situations in the country. While Nigerians suffer and groan under darkness due to epileptic power supply, the distribution company's discos are smiling to the bank. According to reports, the 11 discos in the country raked in 3.2 trillion naira in the last four years, growing revenue by as much as 109 percent between 2020 and 2023. While Nigerians received 22,042.28 gigawatts per hour of electricity in 2020, power supply rose marginally to just 23,000. 942 gigawatts per hour in 2023, and that's a growth of just about 8.6%. We are still far from the ideal, or so it seems. Well, gentlemen, Jude. Yeah, um, I know that the discos are the face of the sector. They are the ones who collect money on behalf of... Uh, uh, others in the sector because the electricity sector is like a relay. It starts from the Jenkos, they generate the electricity. Once they generate the electricity, they feed it into the national grid and the transmission company of Nigeria has the responsibility to then wheel what has been generated to the discos. So the discos are the final leg and they are the face of the industry. So they are the ones who collect money. They are the ones that we see. We don't see the Jenkos. We don't see TCN. But it's the discos that we see, uh, that we interface with. Yes. They are the ones that we know. When we make any payment, it is to the discos. discos. So the discos will pay Jenkos. From there, the Jenkos can find the money to pay for gas because more than 90% uh, of um, the electricity that we generate are from gas-fired turbines. We only have, I think, three um, hydro plants, you know, Kainji, Shiroro, and Jeba at this time. So we are relying heavily on thermal stations, mm. gas-fired generating companies. We are relying heavily on them. So they need gas. It is the money that the Jenkos bring. I mean, the having, I mean, the discos bring. Having collected money from you and I that they make available to the Jenkos, for them to be able to pay for gas, pay salaries of staff and all that. So that is the thing. I don't know whether this whole money belongs to the Jen I mean, to the discos. Because I, I have not seen the full story to know whether the entire money belongs to the disco, but knowing that they are the ones who collect money on behalf of Jenkos. We don't interface with Jenkos. We don't know them. You know? We don't relate with them in any way. It's the discourse that do that, you know, uh, on our behalf. So I don't know whether all of this money belongs to the discos. I also know that the discos have issues. They are not um, solvent enough. They are supposed to be investing regularly in the um, sector, but they are hampered by insufficient funds. And despite the government's best efforts, uh, try to stabilize the sector by um, giving subsidy and all that. Since the power infrastructure uh, was um, sold by the Jonathan regime, the government has never failed to make money available to players in this sector. So it's like buying a house from you and still helping you to maintain the house. That is the unfortunate situation that we find ourselves. On the average, we, are, we barely struggle to 
wheel out 4,000 megawatts. Most times you just do like 3,000 3, uh, or more. We are in such a bad state in the power sector. Our country is not able to generate 5,000 megawatts on a consistent basis. But we've never, we've never wheeled out 6,000 megawatts. Wheeled as in the transmission company pushing to the, to the discourse and the discourse, you know, distributing up to 6,000 megawatts. It has never happened. Whereas we see a country like South Africa doing consistently between 48 to 50,000 megawatts on every given day, relying on coal. We have coal, where we've been heavily reliant on gas uh, fire turbines. There are other sources of um, electricity generation that we can explore. We can explore solar. Mm -hmm. We have sunshine in abundance. abundance Go to northern yeah. Nigeria. If someone was telling me, although I'm yet to verify, that somewhere in Bauchi State called Jamari, is the hottest part of Nigeria. I've not verified. But the point I'm making is we should be able to, uh, to um, invest more on solar power, off-grid electricity access. We should be able to explore it more because most countries of the world are focusing now on off-grid power solutions. The grid, the way it is now, is too... It can continue to serve the whole of our country. Mm -hmm. The rural areas, for example, we should be able to give them off-grid power, solar, wind, and other sources. All right. Yes. Let's bring in uh, Emeka. Well, recently, uh, NERC, the Electricity Regulatory Commission, announced you know, an increase by about 300% uh, for those who are on Band A. Do you see this, for instance, improve the ability of you know, the sector to provide the much needed power to Nigerians? No. Because we still, along the line, you also say that where a disco cannot <clears throat> provide that over seven days, they should downgrade the feeder. They should downgrade that feeder. So there's no assurance, and that's part of the problem. Policy uncertainty. You make pronouncements, you threaten to deal with the discos, and at the end of the day, the discos continue to have the upper hand. How can you have 5.8 million unmetered customers? You go out on the streets, they cry everywhere, whether among the rich or the poor. Not. Give us meters. Provide us meters. We don't have to pay for meters. They want government to reintroduce the national mass metering program and do away with the meter acquisition program. Because how do you expect people to cough up such huge sums, you know, in these uh, difficult economic times? So give us the national mass metering uh, program whereby, you know, people pay as they, as they recharge, you know, they pay uh, in installments. That's the cry everywhere. And secondly, you as, we still have issues with discos not being able to meet up with just even basic power supply. You have weak, they, they, they are, their feeders are weak. The customers provide transformers. The customers buy cables. The customers buy poles. Where there is any fault, the customers have to pay for their people to come and fix those. As I'm talking, there are many areas, as I speak, there are many areas that have been without electricity for years, for months. You, they'll tell you that the disco came, took away their transformer, and they've been trying to reach out. Nothing has been said. Where is our transformer? Why has our transformer not been uh, brought back or replaced? Nothing has been said. And you now find... These officials behaving as if they are gods, as if, you know, maybe they, you know, are doing a free, you know, offering a, an unpaid service in Nigeria. So, what about the issue of estimated billing? The discos are comfortable with estimated billing. And Nigerians are saying, no, we don't want estimated billing. We want to be able to pay for what we use. And that is a cry everywhere. So, government must come out and really deal with this thing. The issue of transmission... It's up to the government. The national grid, definitely, anytime any attempt is made to increase, to run more power through it, it collapses. So the government has to decide whether we need to have a national grid or come, you know, have an agreement with states 
on how this power be generated because we generate much more than is you know we, that is that is moved through the national grid. But at the end of the day, what happens? A lot of it is lost. Then even the discos reject they reject supply. Why? Because their systems are weak. No, no, not just because so, there are places so, where the people don't pay. At, so I they would was, rather give I, electricity. I, 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 was, I was coming to I that. Know, you know, because, Actually, but what about because, because when, when just you, generalize to say because their systems are weak. No, but we are, in many if, instances, if I, no, I can systems, tell you. Yes, see, let's be fair to these people. Yes. Because I I'm see, not being unfair to them. No, no, no. I see people say, oh, these courses are the weakest link. People say that do not know what is going on. There was a stress test that Siemens conducted that showed that the transmission leg was the weakest. Many Nigerians don't which, know this. Which is it's it? easy for them to say, ah, these courses are which the weakest is, because that's what that's many what people we say. See. Yeah. Because they are the ones that you interface with. Mm -hmm. You just said something a while ago that uh, any attempt to, uh, uh, push. to push, uh -huh. push more uh, power. Uh, yes. Of course, we've not been able, we cannot let TCN, Sebi, the Jenkos can do up to 13,000 megawatts. Let transmission company attempt, attempt to, to push 6,000. Let us it see. It will not, it will, that's not. Just 6,000. Let, uh, let us. Some of, the, some of the power infrastructure have been there since 1860. So you expect them, if you don't, and that's why to freshen, uh, to freshen up a lot of the power infrastructure costs, will cost a lot of money. So much. And a lot of time too. And so, do that, so that's why we suggested that, why not um, try this um, off-grid electricity yeah. access? I was even coming to there is, uh, uh, there is an airport in, um, in India that runs for four hours on solar, an airport. Mm. You can imagine the quantum of electricity that is generated for a whole airport to run on solar. We need to give a lot more of our communities electricity access. Through the Rural, rural Electrification Agency, yes, yeah. they can do a lot of off-grid. Uh, look at the example of Luth. I did a documentary on Luth the other day. There was a time when surgeons in Luth were using their phones light from their phone to do surgery. I'm sorry. Today, loot has electricity 24 hours. And it's off-grid. It's the same thing that we suggested that they should do at, uh, um, uh, what was it called? UCH. We are, they are, we are, we are, we are embarrassing even our country by the quantum of debt that they are telling them to pay. Because UCH is in Nigeria, is, is the pride of our country. So the heritage see? about that, it, the heritage, the history about UCH. Yeah. We shouldn't allow it to go to ruination. Yeah. The way we do, we are seeing. Right. So, who, the, whose duty is it to affect some of these? In yes, the case of UCH, yeah. for instance, uh, is it the uh, hospital management or some the people? There's a lot of electricity theft going on. Yeah. Oh, of course. Some people do. bypass the meter. They are calling for meters. They are calling for meters. If you are not prepared to pay. At a premium, don't bother to get a meter. No, but that can keep be your more. keep your with technology. Uh, do your uh, I mean, <laughs> agree yeah, to estimated. estimated billing because when you have the meter, you can no longer use electricity the way you like. The bill will be high, and people are now getting around that by bypassing their meter to steal energy directly. People don't talk about the quantum of energy theft that is going on in our country. Yet, we want them to make money. Where are they going to make the money? Yeah, but, and but, people in places where people are reluctant to pay. I've seen videos of people beating up a uh, disco staff. Which is criminal. Dragging them down. There was one that was dragged down. He landed on his head. Yes. Which is, you beat them up, especially in the, in the areas inhabited by the Lazarus Stratum of our society. The poor in our society. People are not prepared to pay for electricity. They are not prepared to pay. That is the truth. Let's tell ourselves the truth. And when, yeah. when the discos don't supply electricity to such people, you think they've done something wrong. Will you, as a business, continue to push electricity to people who are not paying? They are not giving the army. The army is owing them a lot of money. The other day, the army complained that some, some uh, uh, um, dead bodies in their mortuaries you know, are rotting away, and people are complaining because they are owing this, uh, the 
Is it Abuja or whatever? The disco, they are owing them a lot of money. Even Naso Rock was owing money the other day. Let's talk about some of the problems that have bedeviled that sector. Yeah, but, but and why should Naso Rock? Why should. Uh, no, because we won't be able to find solution if we simply say, ah, these people are bad. This is. We, we are not. But we is have to look at the problem holistically. Indeed. Gentlemen, well, Mitrin is. Important. Will you agree because to give electricity to people that you know habitually they don't? No, but you, use, now, you now, can now, use technology to beat that. How do you do because it? Because importantly, no, you, can, you can monitor them. If importantly, you are, no, for those no who are pain. gentlemen, I will, I will, if I want their shoes, honestly, I will not give you electricity. If I know you will not pay. Yes, surely. Then, that's so a when yes. they do, when they when yes. they stop, when they give them yeah. some uh, 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 what was it called? When they push, power when they them. will power to them, to them yeah. and they hold back some. There are two major reasons for it. Sometimes what you are willing, there is no capacity to receive everything. I admit. But there are places where people don't want to pay. And for that reason, they refuse to give them. Gentlemen, uh, we have a caller who would like to say something about this. Olawale calling from Ikorodu. Thank you for joining us on the program. Okay, good afternoon. And God bless you. Please, I would like to make a brief comment on this uh, energy uh, problem. Hello? Are you yes, please me? go ahead. Allow yes, me. Yes. We can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Hey, my encyclopedia. Good afternoon. I agree to you, sir. Okay. Look, let us be decisive. Energy theft is one of the greatest problems in our country. People, anybody that let the consequences be very, very great and definite, if you steal energy, let go to jail for two years mm. and let it be implemented. Yeah, yeah. You will see that oh. everything will work well in Nigeria. Yes. yes. But by the time they steal the energy and you are just uh, as a big man, uh, uh, traditional ruler will be phony. Leave them all. Uh, politically exposed person will be saying, uh, it's, not the, it's not the only one that has done it. No, 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 no. We can't develop like that. We oh. can't grow. Yes. We can't grow. We keep on blaming them. They have invested. They have to recoup something. God bless you. All right, so now, you made your point. Thank you very much. To the issue of Why are so many government agencies unwilling to pay? Why? Problem. You have capacity. You, in your budget, they must have set aside money for uh, energy uh, yes. and all that. Why are they refusing to pay? Do you know how much they are owing? Okay. Ministries, departments, agencies? Okay. They well, share think. they share something in common. Refuse her to pay. This is the thing. When they mentioned Naso Rock the other day, you know, I was embarrassed. And the president said, go and pay. He didn't inherit it. I mean, he didn't uh, yes, he, 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 he didn't, didn't use yes, the yes, yes. But he inherited it. Mm -hmm. He said, Go and pay. All right, How can we have a situation like that? You want the sector to improve, yet you use electricity, you have a reluctance to pay. Look at the money that they are owed. There are money trapped everywhere. Look how much UCH is owing. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make a react to this. No, I, I think it, there is this um, World Bank uh, program, you know, $750 million World Bank program, nomicide in the Rural, Rural Electrification Agency, REA, you know, for off-grid solutions, you know, whereby where there are clusters of residential and industrial in the same area, mm -hmm. you know, it will be a win-win situation, you know, scratch my back, I scratch your back, you know, off-grid. That's one plan. The other plans to, to ensure that, okay, for instance, you know, power coming from the discos can be saved to such that it, you know, it can be available as a backup for communities, you know. So I think communities can also explore this uh, solution through the REA to, you know, as, as a solution to this uh, power thing. But definitely the, the government has to come to the aid of this because government has 40 percent in Jenko's at this school. so yes government has to find a way to deal with this energy theft i agree the energy theft so both sides if you sit uh, the consumer you are not paying your IT. and sit okay. and sit the discourse you will have a whole day of argument you know, right. can spend the whole day so we have another caller there now. must be solution okay okay it's calling from Oshobo. thank you for joining us on the program uh thank you for having me good afternoon to you all Good afternoon. Um, well, I want to like uh, make one or two points from the earlier topics, but uh, let me quickly talk about this disco 
Uh, well, I feel like um, the energy test is there, but this this goes too. If they are not making money, they won't still be in business by now. Yeah, they should have s- sell their company too. That they are making profit in the right sense. Yes, government agencies are hoeing and this and that, but it is the layman outside there that they will be given estimated view. They will be harassing, doing all those sort of you know scrupulous things. It is bad enough. <laughs> The economic situation is bad enough. Now, tariff hike. It is not good and it's not palatable. So moving on to the first topic, I mean to the topic of uh, Ganduje and the uh, sitting governor right now. Well, if you remember vividly, that kind of a thing happened in Notion when he came in as well. And it was a little bit funny to me because I engaged some of all that. Because if that could be done, like a former governor being probed in a reasonable way, not prejudicially. I think it will set some kind of precedent for other governors coming in, knowing well the net by the others, then you sit tight. Mm-hmm. All right, okay. Thank you very much for your contribution on the program. All right, so Emeka, you were talking about, you know, uh, the options that can actually yeah, be the, the, the upgrade options, yes. Mm-hmm. <coughs> the upgrade okay. options are there, and I know that, you know, uh, it, it, it won't, you know, the plan is to elev- is to take the use of solar, you know, and renewable energy, you know, beyond just home appliances, you know, take it to a level that can really benefit, you know, users. So definitely these things are there. But, you see, if there are many Nigerians, millions of Nigerians who are willing to pay, they are willing to get meters, and they are, willing, they are, they are not interested in getting involved in energy theft. We should acknowledge that too. So it doesn't look like have the meters. it's a general. Everybody said it's among, a general thing. Yeah. You see, I like to look at things holistically. If we just simply look at the discourse, they are the bad boys of the sector because they are the ones that we interface with. People hardly talk about the yeah, problems with the others. When we, we are suffering 46 system failures, is it discourse that caused 46 no. system failures and all that? That tells you what's going on with us, with the, with the national grid. People hardly talk about that. It's a big problem. Gas supply to Jenkos is not regular. Sometimes these boys in the energy data, they will break gas pipeline. And you cannot pipe it. You've just wasted your time. Once you break the pipe, the gas escapes. There's no device by which you can trap the gas, and that gas is meant for power plant. Yeah. Once they don't have the power plant to work with, we have a yeah. darkness. Mm. There is a minimum level of power that must be generated by the quantum of Jenkos that we have. If you don't achieve that minimum, you have a system failure. That's why this thing is constant. Many of the problems we have is, is, is even, uh, are even gas related. We've not solved that problem of making gas because we even built power plants far away from the source of gas in the Niger Delta. You have power, uh, power plants in the North Central, far away. We have power plants here in, in, uh, in the Lagos area. You know, we have a motor show, Papa Land 2, a motor show 1 and 2, the one owned by David O's father and all that, far away from source of gas. and. When anything happens and they don't have gas, they can't. So the, we have, the point I'm trying to make as I wind up is that we have a multiplicity of problems Which is affecting that sector. If we simply look at um, one of the legs of yes. the, in, in the relay mm-hmm. and think that is the problem, then we are not prepared to solve the problem. All right, then, then. I also agree that off-grid electricity access should be boosted. You know, for example, uh, Obudukatu Ranch. I was there when they gave them off-grid power. You can imagine such a beautiful um, tourist destination not having electricity. So they gave them, and even the people uh, in the hilltop community, yeah. they are enjoying it. Indeed. And as we consider alternatives, we should be mindful.